Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about roles and responsibilities of the manual tester. So I'm more focusing on agile manual testers uh, when you're talking about uh, the manual tester in this uh, video. So if you're visiting for the first time Testing Shala YouTube channel, Testing Shala YouTube channel focuses on software related, software testing related videos so that uh, you can click on subscribe and bell notification as in when we publish the new videos all the videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can watch these videos to enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand what are the roles and responsibilities of a manual tester when he's operating in the agile model. So let's understand one by one. So what are his responsibilities? So you should have a good understanding over SDLC. So SDLC is nothing but a software development lifecycle. This another thing you should know is you should know about the complete uh, testing methodologies and techniques being used uh, in various uh, software testing uh, topics. And you should know to perform hands-on test designs because in Agile, people expect to write their own test cases, test scenarios, and also you should be able to perform the execution in a more thorough manner. Before writing the detailed test cases, you'll also be required to write test scenarios. Once you have user stories, you will be converting those user stories to write the high-level test scenarios. Then uh, using various uh, test case design techniques, uh, you will be using the, uh, those techniques to create the test cases. You should know how to manage these test cases because as the day progresses, number of the test cases will increase. And once these test cases are getting increased, your regression should become increased day by day. So hence, it is always try to optimize, try to reuse as much uh, test cases possible so that uh, maintenance of these regression test cases over the period becomes easy. So with the, with the given new Agile model and DevOps journey, all our tester should be able to perform activity in the Scrum team. So hence, you should know the DevOps uh, methodology and also you should know how to set up the environment on his, on, on his own as well as uh, deploying the build into, into this test environment. So once uh, test executions are done, during execution if he is, finds any issues then he should be able to log a defect. So in order to log a defect, you should know uh, what is all about defect lifecycle or a bug lifecycle. Uh, what are the best practices he has to follow when he when he's logging the defect? Any application it involves uh, the backend database where you wanted to validate the data is moving from the UI or any layer, uh, whether data is really getting stored in the DB or not. To validate those aspects, you require to know how to write the SQL queries. So you require to know how to create the SQL queries. Uh, this is a very basic uh, skills is required for any manual tester. So once the test executions are done and you wanted to show the test uh, progress to the stakeholders, then you should be able to generate the test reports which is uh, required for the stakeholders to give an uh, updated situation to all the relevant stakeholders. Where do we stand on the test uh, progress? So the resources should have a knowledge on um, reporting the uh, test reports and the manual tester should also be a, a person who is having a good analytical and technical skills because in agile um, this is a person uh, because in agile scrum teams the one or two testers only will be there in every team and that resource should be able to do everything on his own that means we should have a good analytical skills and good technical skills that help him to um, do his job better in the scrum teams. So I I hope you understood the overall uh, concept of uh, the manual testers. What are the things, different things he does uh, when he's operating as a manual tester in Agile teams. If, if you still feel that you're lacking some of these skills, then do not worry. Take one by one topic and start grooming yourself to build yourself as a good manual testers over the period. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are 
visiting for the first time testing shala youtube channel please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care